Okay, let's meditate for a few minutes. Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Watch the breath all the way in, watch it all the way out. And if your mind wanders off, bring it back. Wanders off again, bring it back again. Make up your mind, this is where you're going to stay. And then learn how to stick with that intention. This is an important principle in training the mind. When you see that something's good, you don't want to be easily deflected. And so once you've decided that the mind needs training, this is where you start, keeping it with the breath, because the breath is something comfortable. It's right there. You don't have to buy it from anybody. Keep it with you wherever you go. You don't have to lug it around. It goes with you. And it gives the mind a sense of being at home and at ease wherever you are. And then the important thing is learning how to stay there. Because the mind's going to have lots of other intentions as well. It's going to look at this and listen to that and think about this, all kinds of things. But you've got to tell it, no, and this is not the time for that. You've got to train the mind. Because the mind is what runs your life. And if your mind is out of control, well, who's in control, who's in control then? Nobody. Whatever pops up in the mind from who knows where, that takes over so easily. This is why people's lives can be such a mess. They make up their mind they want to do something good, and then five minutes later they're off doing something else. So you want to train the mind to be mindful and alert so that it knows what it's doing and it can keep in mind where it really wants to be, so it doesn't get forgetful. Otherwise your life is like handing your car over to a crazy person who hasn't been trained in any way at all. The crazy person is going to take the car and just drive it off the edge of a cliff very easily because there's really nothing in control. So you want to make sure that if you want to find true happiness in life, this is where you start, in training the mind. Because even if you gain material things, you gain the admiration of your friends, other people. If your mind is out of control, it's never going to be enough. And you can take the good things. You can take the good things and the good people you're with, and you can destroy them. The good relationships can be destroyed if the mind lets its greed, aversion, or delusion take over. So it's important that you learn how to keep the mind in check. Keep your mindfulness in charge, the mindfulness that reminds you, okay, this is what's right, this is what's wrong. The Buddha compared mindfulness to a gatekeeper. You've got a fortress at the edge of a territory. You know there are enemies outside the territory, and they're going to try to sneak in at any time. So you need a really good gatekeeper who can recognize who should be allowed in the fortress and who shouldn't. That's the same way with mindfulness in your mind. Any ideas that come up about what you want to do or say or think, run them past the gatekeeper first. Now a lot of times we sneak them past the gatekeeper, hoping the gatekeeper won't notice. So this is why we have to train the mind with the breath. So it's alert and knows what's going on in all directions. When you focus on the breath, it's not just the air coming in and out of the lungs, it's the sense of energy in your body. And that's all around the body. So try to be aware of that energy all around the body as you breathe in, as you breathe out. This way you train your mindfulness to be continual, and you train your alertness to be all around. And that way the enemies can't sneak in. And the people who are in charge of your life are the good ones, the ones who know what's right for you, know what's good for you and can make you stick with it. That's how true happiness is found. Because when the mind is well trained, then even if things outside aren't convenient or not comfortable or not the way we want, still the mind knows how to control itself so it doesn't have to suffer from these things. When things go well, you train yourself how not to abuse the things that go well. So having a trained mind is the essential element in finding happiness of any kind. So this is something you want to work at every day. Otherwise the enemies sneak into the fortress, they take it over, and that's it. The choice is yours. <laughs>